Hey YouTube, this is Pokecast XVII here and today we'll be looking at a new card that I'm particularly interested in from the Burning Shadow set and that card is Neuvern GX. Neuvern has been getting a fair amount of hype since its release and draws a lot of resemblance with some cards that we've had previously. Let's take a look at Neuvern. Neuvern GX is a stage 1 with 2 attacks and a GX attack. It has 200 HP with free retreat and a weakness to fairy. Its first attack in Distort for a single Dark and a Colorless Energy deals a decent 50 damage and prevents your opponents from playing any item cards the following turn. This immediately draws comparison with Seismitoad EX released back in Fury's Fist, which dominated formats to come by simply preventing players from playing item cards. It is made better that it's 50 and not 30 damage, which can also be bumped up through cards like Professor Kakui and Choice Band. Its second attack in Sonic Volume deals 120 damage and prevents your opponents from playing any special energy cards from their hand the following turn. Much like Distort and Seismitoad EX, Sonic Volume is actually very similar to Giratina EX minus the use of tools and stadiums. Seismitoad Giratina for that matter did feature quite a lot a few seasons back and proved to be quite a formidable force. Neuvern does also have a GX attack in Boom Burst, which deals 50 damage to all of your opponent's Pokemon, not applying weakness and resistance for bench Pokemon. This is great for low HP Pokemon, or even if you just want to soften up big EX or GX Pokemon, or of course dealing the final blow to Pokemon that have retreated onto the bench. With every new card that comes out, often evolves as the format progresses in terms of what cards to play with it. However, on early thoughts, a great partner that you could pair Neuvern with is Garbodor. Trash Alliance deals 20 damage, times the number of item cards in your opponent's discard pile. On the surface, this may seem quite contradictory, considering that your opponent won't be able to play any item cards in the first place, however, quite often what players will choose to do is play cards like Professor Sycamore, since they are already locked down and unable to play most of what is in their hand. In doing so, this builds up some decent numbers for Garbodor to hit and certainly does punish your opponent if they do decide to play any item cards. Having Garbodor means that you can play a split of say 3-1 and run the Garbotoxin Garbodor as well, more or less replicating the deck that won the 2015 US National Championships in Seismato Garbodor. Being under item lock means they won't be able to use Field Blower to remove the Floatstone attached to your Garbodor. This deck also ran things like Crushing Hammer and Enhanced Hammer which prevents your opponent from conjuring up anything to attack with. With that said, you could also consider Team Flare Grant for the extra disruption with Tapu Lele to search out single supporters should you need to. In terms of energy, you do play a combination of Dark and Psychic, although mostly you want to consider Double Dragon energy while it's still in rotation as a means of attacking of a single energy, much like Seismitoad EX used to with Double Colorless. With all that said, here is a skeleton to get you started. On the surface, this deck is pretty standard and runs most of what you'd expect. You have Tapu Lele for consistency, as well as your average count of things like Sycamore, N and Lysander. You could even try a few of the new supporters, such as Wick and Guzma if you wanted to. The one Bridget in there is great for your early game setup, since you can use Tapu Lele GX for its wand attack ability to get your Bridget and then get out your Neubat and Neuvern. You do have the one Rescue Stretcher, although you could possibly also consider Brock's Grit if you wanted to. And finally for stadiums, I've gone with Altar of the Moon just to give your Garbodors a less trickier time when trying to retreat, since they all function off a single energy anyway. And with all that said, that was pretty much it and that is Neuvern GX all concluded for you. If you did like this video and you would like to see more Pokemon related content, all you have to do is click the annotations at the end of this video. Alternatively, you can subscribe to the channel and not forgetting that I'm also on Facebook, I will put all the links within the description box below. Otherwise, thank you again very much for watching and I will see you all next time.